welcome to Website Wednesday. This week I'm talking about the best ways that you can integrate a gift voucher or a gift card to your Squarespace website. So there are three ways that you can do it. Um, each way has their pros and cons. Um, so I'm going to go through all three ways that you can um, add and incorporate a gift card, gift voucher to your website. And I'm going to end on the one that I think is your best pick. But um, there are obviously going to be different requirements that you need to fulfill for your website and also for like your budget um, with transaction fees and all that. So here are a couple of options that you can weigh up and see whether they suit what you need. So number one, first option for gift card is um, integrating it into uh, your website as the e-commerce platform for Squarespace. So to do this, you will need a business plan with your Squarespace um, plan. Uh, but um, basically what this means is that you need a business plan in order to sell products. So if you're going to be selling a gift card in this example, you will need to create a physical item in your, in your shop for the gift card. So this way actually means there's a little bit of back-end admin work on your part. So basically what you do is you create a physical product as you would like a normal physical product within your shop. And what will happen is you can add in a um, shipping fee. So you can actually send a physical gift voucher posted to the mail address that the, the customer leaves. You can also create a form that then um, allows the customer to write a message if they want it to be posted to the recipient, if they're the gift vouchers for a friend. Um, and then what you'd need to do is if you're wanting to email it to the customer, um, they will provide their email address and postage address and everything like that once they get into checkout. And you can also set up a form that asks the customer whether they want it to be emailed to them, to the recipient, or mailed directly, in which case they'd select the shipping um, cost example as well. What this does mean is you've got to do a little bit of in the background admin. So if the client actually wants an emailed gift voucher, you have to create a gift voucher email for them. So you could create your artwork on, say, like Canva, or if you have a graphic designer, they could do it for you. But you'll, of course, need to issue some sort of um, uh, number that goes along with that gift voucher so that they can use it. So if they want to use it online, um, you would have to create a code, like a discount code that they can use in the back end on your website if they're using their gift voucher to purchase something in your online shop. And then once that um, gift voucher code has been used on the online shop, you can then remove it from the back end so it can only be used once. So this does mean that you'll have to do some back um, back end handling, making um, your code, applying your code to the email that you send out to the customer, or if you're going to be sending it via snail mail, then you'd be applying the code to the gift voucher that you're mailing to the customer. So this version is probably like the simplest version in terms of transaction fees because you'd be paying a transaction fee to Squarespace on a business plan at least of 3%. And then the e-commerce would be handled through either Stripe or PayPal. And then Stripe is 1.75%. Um, I believe PayPal is 3% um, transaction fee. So you can go up to a higher plan if you want to avoid that 3% transaction th fee through Squarespace. Um, but yes, um, probably uh, the cheaper option, but if you've got some time on your hands and you don't mind doing the back-end admin work of it, um, this might be a good option for you. Second option um, with Squarespace is Squarespace does actually have the functionality to sell gift cards online, um, but this requires the highest Squarespace plan, which is the Commerce Advanced Plan. So it could potentially be maybe um, somewhere around $200 more annually from the base business plan to the advanced commerce because you're skipping two to two plans. So if you're going to be selling a shitload of gift vouchers, then maybe this plan might be good for you because 
then the the cost associated to upgrading to a commerce advanced um, will um, be worth it uh, for having that extra functionality. And um, it's also a lot easier to use in terms of an online store because you don't have to do admin back in the back end. It all works in accordance to your e-commerce plan. The one downside of this is if you have a physical shop location, you cannot really redeem the cards in a physical location because they will only be able to u- be used online. You can't yet cancel a gift card through Squarespace um, manually. If you cancel the gift card, say if it's like redeemed in store, for example, um, it will then process a refund back to the customer, which we don't want. But then also if the code is still valid, they can then still spend that on your shop online. So I would only suggest this option, um, option two, if you are only selling products in your online shop because Squarespace will then um, uh, generate a code and then this code can then be used in your online shop when the customer goes to redeem it. And it's all automatic. The customer gets an automatic code through Squarespace via email and it gets redeemed automatically. So no background admin on your behalf. Then the third option, which is my favorite, is using an app called GiftUp. So this is a third-party app example, um, but I believe that it's probably um, the best way to sell gift cards or gift vouchers on your Squarespace. Now, you don't need a business plan. You can actually do this on a personal plan, but if you want to integrate the gift voucher purchasing within your site on the page and not, say, draw people away from clicking a link and opening to another window, and that means you'd need to put in some code, then you have to be on a business plan. But it's not necessary. You could basically incorporate a button on your personal plan that says purchase gift voucher, click here, and when the customer clicks it, it will open up in another window, which is the gift app up app, Um, And then you process your sale through that. So that means no need to upgrade a plan if you're on a personal plan. Of course, if you want to use more of the commerce functionality um, to sell other products, then you will need to upgrade to a business um, plan. So um, GiftUp is great because you can um, have in-store purchases with this. So you can um, process um, the purchases they install uh, using the Gift Up app. So they have an app where you can actually input the code that they generate for you and redeem the card in store. If you're going to also be using it for an online shop, you will then have to create the codes in your online shop for a discount that then applies to the same code that Gift Up has automatically generated for you. But GiftUp gives you the option of doing different monetary amounts. Um, it's really simple to use. Um, there are a number of different plans that you can use with GiftUp as well. So the initial one is a pay-as-you-go, um, which basically is no um, ongoing um, like monthly fees, but you do pay a transaction fee of 3.5% for every transaction that gets processed. And then there's other plans there uh, thereafter that um, you can pay monthly fees to bring down the cost of the transaction fees as well. So the reason why Gift Up is so good is because you can use it in store if you have a physical shop location, and you can use it online if you have an online shop as well, and if you want gift cards and gift vouchers to be redeemed online. But Gift Up, because um, it is its own app you will need to do a little bit of back end um, in terms of adding those codes into your commerce if it's for online shopping. So that's everything that I have time for today for um, gift vouchers and how um, you can use them on your Squarespace website. If you have any questions, just stick them in the comments. Otherwise, I will catch you guys next week on Website Wednesdays. Bye.